Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is your first time here. Today we're working on a special wreath, because over at Patreon, also, before we get into all this, could you could you guys just click subscribe, and then just leave me a comment, because, um, I need that in my life. Anyway, over on Patreon, we have been working on this wreath for a while. Um, there's a lot of different little parts to it that are, um, handmade. All the embellishments are by me. The sign is by me. So, you know, you want to see the whole process. Five dollars a month over on Patreon. There's a hundred different tutorials of it. I don't know. I'll throw it probably twenty. But um, yeah. So this is a fourteen, and I was I was divided between doing a swag and doing a wreath, but I'm going with the wreath. I might regret it. I don't know. So I have three kinds of mesh. My base mesh is going to be this black and white that I'm going to be pulling from up here. Um, I have my, this is a 14 inch, 14 and a quarter, whatever it is, Dollar Tree wreath frame with 18 ties on it. There's mesh all over the place. Um, and we're going to start off by just doing ruffles. Is that what we want? We want ruffles? What do we think? Yeah, we'll do ruffles all the way around in every pipe cleaner. I'm just folding the edge under, ruffling it up, take like a little bow tie thing. And these are cut at 19 inches. And hopefully I have 19 of them because I like to put one in the middle. And I really think I'm gonna need one in the middle for this wreath because there is a, um, a lot that's going in there. Not necessarily in the middle, just there's a lot of stuff that needs to be supported. So this is my first Halloween wreath I'm making. I made a couple fall grapevines. I made two fall deco mesh wreaths already. Um, I don't know if I'm pretty sure you guys have seen those already. You probably should. I haven't worked on videos for August at all. Like, they're done. They're filmed. But I haven't edited any of them. None of that stuff. Uh, today is the last day of June, and I just finished July last week. So I haven't started on... Planning August. I, it's gonna go pretty quick because I have, uh, you know, it's it's we're getting into the busy season finally. See, while I'm doing this, I just want to talk about Patreon. Um, I know I feel like I'm trying to sell it in every every video, but those videos that I make on Patreon, the memberships I have with there, pay for these videos here. Um, my wreaths, when they sell, they also, you know, every all the money I make from YouTube, from Patreon, from Etsy, that goes right back into my business. Like, that's not me paying my rent. I wish it was. I wish I had enough to pay my rent and continue to make videos for you guys, but it's just, we're not there yet. I am confident that one day we will be, especially with everything going on at Patreon, um, but we're not there yet, so... If you want to support the channel, you can join Patreon. Uh, if you don't want to join, if you don't want to, um, if you want to support the channel and you don't have money to join Patreon or you don't want to, just leave a comment, a like, and a subscribe. A subscribe and subscribe. That does so much. I used to like laugh at people and they're like, "Oh yeah, guys, it really helps me out." And then I'm like, "Oh my God, they were right." All those people that are like, please subscribe to my channel, they like, they're serious. Like, it does help out. Like, if you don't have subscriptions, if you don't have comments, if you don't have engagement, if you don't have likes, YouTube is like, you don't exist, which is basically what is happening to me. Um, but yeah. Over on Patreon, we have done a couple of. Uh, We've done a lot of wreath embellishments. There's been a couple of behind-the-scenes videos, always behind-the-scenes pictures, just um, progress shots of things that are going on, stuff like that. But with this wreath, I wanted to set out to make a wreath that, um, not that it was like, oh, it's all exclusive because it's on Patreon. I wanted to make everything for this wreath because... I know y'all have seen the picture. Or maybe I've blurred the thumbnail. I don't know. Um, I had this idea in my head for a while. And then I was like, I'm going to do this. So I needed to make everything. And I said, well, I don't make anything without recording it anymore. Because I need content. 
either for here or on Patreon. So I was like, let's just record this. And then I was like, hey, this is like a cool journey. So I think they will end up being, we made a design that we made an embellishment. I have another embellishment to make. So yeah, there's, there's just gonna be some, there's gonna be some stuff over there. There's like a bunch of mesh that's about to fall on top of me. So it's five dollars a month, and you can cancel whenever you want. I really need to like sit down at my computer and look at YouTube and figure out how to live stream because that's something I definitely want to do. I want to do it on here and I want to do it there exclusively. There we go. Look at it all falling. Um, do some exclusive live streams for members of Patreon, but I have no idea how to do that. Like, am I just supposed to hang my, my phone from the ceiling? And then where am I supposed to put a laptop? How am I going to read comments? Every time I go live, I can never see the comments. You know, those like three times I went live. But I'm going to figure it out. See, it is the end of June, finally. Only have two more months of living hell on Earth until maybe it starts to cool down in September. Or even if it doesn't cool down in September, at least, like, all the Halloween and fall stuff will be out. Most of the Christmas stuff will probably be out by September. Although with the way supplies have been, um... I don't know. I was watching one of the other people I follow. I don't watch her lives all the time just because, um, well, that's not important. Just, it's, it's like, I, I stop watching people when I'm like, you're not, you're not bringing anything new to the table. It's the same wreath. Here's a bow. Here's a sign. Um, Anyway, I, I stopped watching her, but the other day she had, like, she started doing Halloween, and I was like, okay, like, I don't care, like, not saying you're doing the same wreath all the time, like, I don't care about everyday wreaths, like, that's why I barely have any, like, it's very hard for me to do, because I'm like, I don't care about, like, a welcome to our home wreath, like, I want a Christmas wreath, I want a Easter wreath, I want a Halloween wreath, so she started doing Halloween, and, like, I looked at the little thumbnail, and I was like, alright, I'm gonna watch this, and she said in the video that... They started putting out Christmas at Hobby Lobby, which I saw a couple weeks ago when I was at Hobby Lobby. They already had some of the ribbon out. And she said that this is a year where you can't wait for a sale. If you see something and you like it, you need to buy it when you see it because there's not going to be... They're not like going to restock Christmas multiple times like they used to do. Just because... The shipping container shortage and getting things in from China and all this. So I know it's tempting to wait for that 40% off for Christmas, but by the time it comes, what you want might not be there anymore. But we'll see. I mean, hopefully it's it's better than it has been. Because, like, I know I make fun of Craft Outlet all the time for never having anything in stock, but, like, I understand why. Like it's broken or something. That's weird. All right, the outside is all done. Let me get to the inside now. Let me pull these down. Take. I keep putting my scraps up here because I have so many. Y'all know how much I use this natural mesh. Um, I have so many scraps of that all over the place, and I'm like, eventually, I'm just gonna be able to make a wreath with the scraps. I've now been on this diet. I lost 20 pounds in three weeks. Um, actually, it was like 20 pounds in a week, and then no, it was like 16 pounds in a week, and then it was like four pounds over the last two weeks, losing like 0.8 of a pound. Because that's what my scale goes. It doesn't go by like half a pound. It goes by like 0.8. Um, like 0.8 at a time. Which, very frustrating. 
Like, at least give me one. Give, give me one pound. Give me 1.2. Don't give me 0.8. But as long as I'm not gaining. And it is, like, almost a pound every day. So I was just, it just slowed up for a while there. And I have been feeling terrible. Because I was doing good, doing really good, eating low carb, low calorie, low fat, high protein. Um, I was doing good with that. And then I got bored with the food that I was eating. And I was like, you know what? Every time I go to eat something, I'm just like, oh, I wish this was breakfast. So I made, I made six, I prepped six breakfast meals, which was just three eggs and a piece of turkey sausage. And I ate those in two days because I ate them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I was like, this is perfect. And then when I ran out of those, I prepped 12 meals of three eggs and, and turkey sausage. And I'm eating those now, but I ate them for like two days. And I was like, why do I feel so terrible? I was like, I just have no energy. I feel awful. Um, and I was like, it's the Ozempic, but like, I don't think the Ozempic would have. I took it Saturday. Today is Wednesday. And I don't think that I would still be having the effects from my Saturday injection. So I was like laying in bed, like just, uh, and, um, my friend said something and I was like, no, I, I, I haven't, no, I was I, about eating. And I was like, no, I've been eating. I said, just, you know, eggs and sausage. And he said, carbs? And I was like, no. He was like, you have to eat something besides eggs. You have to eat something besides lean protein. And I was like, I know that, but y'all, if that, if that tea falls off of here, we're going to have a fight. So today... I was like 95% dead. Went back to sleep after I woke up this morning because I was so tired. And then I went to Walmart to go get um, masking tape because I can't find masking tape and I had to make the sign for this wreath. Couldn't find it. And while I was there, I was like, let me get some um, low carb tortillas because even though they're low carb, they still have 24 carbs in them. You just, they also have a, a load of fiber so you don't count those. So I got that, and I got a box of protein bars. Um, God, protein bars are so expensive, y'all. But I had, this morning I had my eggs and my sausage with a tortilla. And then I had a protein bar. And then for lunch I had um, two tortillas with four ounces of chicken and two little laughing cow cheeses. Wait, do I not have enough to do a center? Wait, maybe I do. I don't know. Um, you know, it was like a roll-up sandwich. And then I had a, tor uh, a protein bar again. And then for dinner, I had two more sandwiches. Which, they're not really sandwiches. They're just tortillas. But I feel so much better now. Like, it took me all day to get back to feeling normal. But I do feel better. Okay, so we do have enough to put one in the middle. I am just out of pipe cleaners. Gonna, something's wrong with my car and I'm I, I'm weary about like going to Hobby Lobby or Michael's but I'm gonna see if my mom wants to go to Metairie tomorrow and then maybe we can go to Michael's and I oh, no damn it I missed one right here so I don't have another one I don't have enough for the middle see I should have cut them at 18 and I would have been able to get 19 pieces oh well no big deal one fell somewhere and I don't see it. Which could have happened. And my sign is pretty big. I, I just, I don't need something in the middle. It just, it's, I like a little bulk to it. In the middle. You know, a little structure to hold other stuff up. All right, now I'm gonna go in every other one with my purple and with a special mesh that I've never used before. And I'm gonna do these in I don't know what I want to do. I want like 
an area off to the side of me where I can put cut mesh so it's not falling all over the place. Um, I think I'm just going to do crumple. So two, two, two curls. Ruffle it up. And stick them in here, curl side up. Or down, whatever you want. I just want mine up. Here is the green mesh. Y'all, I don't think this business, not tonight, sis. Don't look at that dog. Don't, don't do it. Um, this is from Craft Outlet. I haven't used it before. It's like window pane, but not. Um, it's soft. It was super easy to cut, y'all. As I was rolling it out, it was so flat. I was like, oh, God, I need to switch to exclusively using this mesh. But I think this is more of like a... What is that noise? Like an accessory mesh. Like a, an accent mesh because... I mean, you can see right through it. That's the point, you know? works out with like shredding and you know usability yes diet is going well i wish it was going better but y'all my blood sugar readings i got down to like i think it was 108 last night and i was like oh no 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 you need to because i don't if anybody's dealt with like if you're diabetic or if you have high blood sugar low blood sugar and you're not diabetic like Having low blood sugar is so much worse for me personally than having high blood sugar. Like, when I, had, when I have high blood sugar, I'm just like, oh, I'm peeing a lot and my head kind of hurts. Um, but low blood sugar is like, I'm going to fall over, I'm going to pass out, I'm going to die. So I was watching, it was like, I had my phone in my hand that I was just watching the, like, it checks my sugar every minute. And I was like, okay, 108. I was like, don't go any lower, don't go any lower. And then I went to like 109 and I was like, okay. I was like, go up, just like, like, leave me at like 115. That's fine. But I noticed today was, um, I don't know where it's at right now because it's probably not going to work. Um, because it's never connected. It's 128 right now. Which is good because I ate about, well, this is where I ate. You can see where it ticks up right there, like 530-ish. And it's 7 15 7 something 7 15 7 13 somewhere from there so yeah this is my new obsession is checking this all the time but every time i go to check it's like uh the device stuff because it's, it's bluetooth so it's like, your device has stopped working. Please wait 30 minutes. And I'm like, 30 minutes? I could die in 30 minutes. See, so you checked it again. It just went down to 124. Come on, people want to see what my sugar is as I'm doing this. And y'all, I worked out yesterday for the first time in, I don't know, 39 years. I started out and my blood sugar was 150. No, it was 161. And I worked out for 45 minutes of doing, like, cardio. Um... Doing cardio, and when I was done, I checked my blood sugar, and it was at 111. And I was like, "Oh, okay, so that's a good way to lower your blood sugar," which I knew that already. I just hate working out. And as I was doing it, like this is how you know you're getting old when you're working out, and all you hear is like, <coughs> like all my bones cracking and snapping, and I was like, "What's going on?" But yeah, it turned out I'm just old as hell. some kind of sick satisfaction of knowing that I am doing well and I am losing weight and I am feeling better not the last couple days because the no carbs thing just was like my body was like hey 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 eggs ain't gonna cut it buddy also you should probably not be eating nine eggs a day um 
But like I feel, I just, I feel like I can do stuff. I cut my mom's grass the other day. That nearly killed me. But. show you the sign I made for this. People on Patreon have seen it already and how to make it. And they have access to the cut file that I designed. I think if I can figure out how to upload that. Um, yeah, I was just, I was, I was like, I want a sign for this and I want it to say something specific. And like, I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm, I always forget that I have a crooked. I don't know why. I think it's because I am like, Y'all, if y'all, y'all need to go join Patreon just to watch me struggle with trying to put vinyl on this sign. I was just like, wait, am I doing this right? No, am I doing, did I take this, is this supposed to be here? What, what happened to this? Um, I'm just not good at the vinyl, but this was like perfect application. I mean, eventually, cause I, it's a round sign. So when I designed the SVG file, um, I designed it as a 10 inch circle and then I cut a border around it. So all I had to do when I put it on the, the wood sign is make sure that the circ that the circle frame that was around it was outside of the frame and didn't stick down. And that's how I got everything centered and leveled because that is something that drives me crazy when I see people, like a lot of people make signs. A lot of people are really good at it, but when I see one that's like, doesn't line up or it's off centered or something i'm like why would you why would you go because because to me it's like why would you go through three and a half hours worth of trouble putting that vinyl down but i realize it doesn't take everybody three and a half hours but y'all people on patreon y'all need to comment down below and tell them what a struggle it was for me to get this vinyl down i was just sitting i was i was sitting here filming and i was like what am i doing what's going on And then Michelle called me. She's like, what are, what are you, what, I called earlier. Where were you? I was like, I was trying to put vinyl on a sign. She was like, for two hours? And I was like, basically. I was like, it's pretty serious over here. But the sign, y'all, I could not be happy with the way the sign came out. It's drying right now because I had to throw a couple of coats of sealer on it. I'm just like going with the purple. I need more green. Yeah, this feels really nice. I used fabric mesh for the first time. Well, not for the first time. I used just fabric mesh the other day on a wreath. And I was like, oh my God. If I could afford to use this all the time, I would. Because it was just so nice. But yeah, we have some really good, really good, how, I guess that's a good thing about being stuck in the house for the past year is that I had time to like be like I want to make this wreath and to figure out how to make it and then like source the materials and in some case buy the tools um figure out how I, how I want to make this so I have a bunch of not so much Christmas I have a bunch of Halloween wreaths that I was just like been thinking about them thinking about them thinking about them because like when I'm done Christmas and when I'm done spring I get to that this time of year lull I'm like, okay, I made like seven patriotic wreaths. What else is there to do? But like summertime wreaths. I better have not gotten red glitter all over me. I did. I just took a shower. But yeah, it's this wreath. It's a candy corn wreath. I gotta make a candy corn wreath. I mean, I think that's like a tradition here now. Even though my candy corn swag never sold, but I'm also not sure I ever listed it on that seat because it's got Dollar Tree ribbon in it. So yeah, I need to get that stuff listed on Etsy because I can't be like, my wreaths aren't selling and they're not selling because they're hanging on my wall, but they're not listed on Etsy. This is giving me... This, this piece, I keep, I, I'm sure y'all have seen that by now. I keep having to pull it off. It's like one of the outside pieces. I don't know if it's because it's like sticking to something and it's fraying. But so far, this is holding together pretty well. And 
there was a, quite a debate on the um the watermelon reef that had the black and white what is this one vertical this is i would consider this horizontal yeah the vertical black and white that was in the watermelon reef because it was just it was such a disaster to work with um which if you've seen that video i know everybody who was watching it is like why would you ever use this i used it because i had it uh because i paid like nine dollars for it <laughs> And um, I don't quit things, so I don't care how much trouble it was giving me. It was going in that wreath. And once it was in the wreath, it was fine. Like, I mean, regardless of the quality of mesh, once you get it in the wreath and you quit messing with it, it's fine. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to clarify that just because working with the mesh was a wreath, working with the mesh was a mess, that doesn't mean the wreath was. It, I mean, the wreath... Did I sell that wreath? I think I sold that wreath. I don't see it. But there's a lot of other places in my house where there are wreaths. I got a new neighbor too. I don't know if I mentioned that in one of the other videos. Um, she bought the house. That's across there. I have an empty lot next to my house, and she bought the house next to it. Um, 19 years old. Terrified because this is, she just moved. It's the first time she's living by herself. And I was like, you know, I asked my other neighbors before they moved. I was like, how does a 19 year old afford this like $140,000 house? But there was a whole story behind it that I was like, why, I, why are you telling everybody's business? But yeah, she's, I went over there and I was like, hey. You know, I'm Adam. I live next door. They told me to come and check on you. And she's like, oh, yeah. She's like, you know, I'm, I'm getting an alarm installed. And I'm getting... And I was like, girl. I said, until you moved in, I was the youngest person here. And I'm 40 years old. So, you're fine. But, I mean, I get that. When I moved out on my own, I didn't move into a... I, moved, I did move into a house, but not a house I bought. A house I was renting. And Michelle had to sleep over for, like, three days. Because I was so scared of being by myself. But then afterwards, I was like, eh, this ain't so bad. And I said, there's nobody, like, there's, this is a bunch of old people. Um, I said, it's a quiet neighborhood, except for those freaking kids behind me. I said, you don't, you don't have anything to worry about. And I said, and if you need anything, I am right there. But please don't bother me. So she seemed nice. And she had on a Ray Dunn. Y'all, it is like 150 degrees here. And when I went over there, she was they were moving into the house. And she had on a Ray Dunn sweatshirt. And I was like, oh. I was like, next time you go to TJ Maxx, take me with you. So she's, she seemed really nice. She's like, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm a, I'm a little nervous said um the neighbors before they moved they were like yeah she's moving in with her boyfriend and i was like oh, okay and then i was like so and then when i, I yeah, she had two guys with her and i was like I, you know i didn't know which one of them was the boyfriend so i was like they said you were moving in with your boyfriend and she's like she's like oh no i was and i was like oh he's he's not moving in she's like well he's not in the picture anymore and i was like uh she's like yeah he didn't um she said something that you know I was like, why, why, why do you, why do you break up with the 19 year old who has enough money to buy a house? I'd be like, baby, you treat me so fine, baby. But she was like, so it's just me. And I said, well, welcome to the neighborhood. And I went just like this. Wait, let me, I was standing in her driveway. facing the other side of the street. I said, they're trash, they're trash. No one lived there. She just died. She's a gossip. That's Eddie. These are my neighbors. That's me. This guy who owns this lot is a jerk. And this is you. And she was like, okay. She's like, oh yeah, Eddie fixes my car. I said, Eddie fixes everybody's everything. All right. Eddie, come over here and find us out the side of this pipe cleaner for me. Okay. There we go. Oh, no, I gotta turn this the other way. See, it's like shredding this. Is this paper? No, this is plastic. 
I was like, please tell me they did not just put um, paper mesh in here. Now, I know y'all are looking at that, y'all like, he is definitely making a Beetlejuice wreath. Which, let me rule that out for one of the wreaths I have planned. But, I think every time people see, like, green and purple and black and white, they're like, oh, it's Beetlejuice. Like, I could literally put Mickey Mouse on this and send it to Michelle and she'd be like, oh, it's a Mickey Mouse Beetlejuice wreath. And I'm like, no, it's just a Mickey Mouse. So, that's my base. This freaking thing over here. Looks good. Looks nice and full. Um, I'm going to cut... There's no point in me. Oh, I don't have any more black pipe cleaners, though. Okay, so we're going to have to use white. That's fine. And possibly brown. That's also fine. It's not going to show anyway. I just want to fill in that hole in the middle to support... on the ground. I'm so excited. I haven't been this excited for a wreath in a while. Alright, I'm going to pull this across the center. so many things attached to it that I will probably go ahead and add a placement to the back just to cover all of that nonsense. Alright, did I already lose the other half of that pipe cleaner? Cool. Did anybody see where it went? going to ruffle this. This will go in the middle, and again, it's not there to be like, oh, there's an extra pop of purple in the middle. It is just there to support the sign, the bows, the shoes, uh, the walls. Okay, so I think I'm done with this for the night. What time is it? Oh yeah, it's 7.30. I gotta go to sleep. Um, what's my blood sugar at? 114. Oh, God. Uh, so, I just want to lay this out for you guys. Standing up. I wish that you could see some more. I might have to go through and just kind of pull some of that up. I was just going to use black, and then I was going to use two types of black. A thin stripe and the thick stripe, but I settled on this. I made these... Um, and yes, they have spikes all over them. I will show you up close if I can find a super nice one. I think I'm missing... Oh no, one, one's on the shelf. So that's going to go over there somewhere. And then... 
my sign, which I haven't figured out how to attach it yet, since it needs, oh yeah, the poly acrylic's dry, it looks really good. It needs, um, I can't staple into it because it's only an eighth of an inch thick. But I'm thinking, let me see. Y'all know the bow's gonna go there. Let's not try to pretend the bow's not gonna go there. No, the bow will go here. The sign will go here. These will go here, here, and somewhere else. And this, this is not showing up the right color on here. And the glare's there. It says, what's wrong with being wicked? And then on Patreon, we made pair of ruby slippers and you're like did you make those no I bought them and then I painted them and did things but they will go over here I still have to finish the insides I don't know how and yeah I still want to add some tubing to this we're gonna put green on the purple and purple on the green and yeah what's wrong with being wicked and this will obviously be incorporated a little bit better once I figure out how to... I don't think these were ever worn. Once I figure out how to get these shoes in here and once I cover up the Nine West logo because, come on, that doesn't need to be there. So yeah, let me see if I have that other... Some of these I did with hot glue, which was not holding them on, and some of them, most of them were done with super glue. So, bow. And then, where are the ribbons? The ribbons were somewhere. I don't think I'm going to do too many tails. I got this plum color to contrast with the, it's all going to work out, like, don't, don't worry. The plum, the green, probably this Harlequin, this stripe, maybe with this, y'all, it's going to be cool. So yeah, this is my stuff from a crap tablet order you guys have already seen, but, oh no, not the orange, what am I doing? This one we're gonna see we're gonna make us a nice big bow we're gonna get these shoes in here we're gonna figure out how to attach this sign and we are gonna have us a non-copyrighted witch wreath even though i'm pretty sure the wizard of oz is old enough that well it doesn't say anything about the wizard of oz anyway it just has ruby slippers on them you can't copyright shoes can you yes i need to work on getting these nestled in here somehow but that's for another day i think that's how i want it i don't know we'll mess with it this color like this looks this looks blue it is definitely not blue but yeah what's wrong with being wicked not a damn thing all right, I'll see you guys in a minute. I have all my ribbons cut and organized <laughs> over here because I realized when editing videos, this takes me forever and it shouldn't. Um, this is always the longest part. I have, they're cut at 14 inches. I have six sets of these and six sets of these. A purple glitter, two and a half with a mini Harlequin black and white at one and a half, and then a lime with black and white stripes at two and a half, and purple glitter at one and a half. It's called Plum. I was very particular about wanting a different shade of purple in here. Um, so I went with the Plum instead of the purple that would have matched this because, you know, let's, let's make it difficult. And I'm going to put, I'm considering these my purple ribbons and these my green ribbons. So I'm going to put the purple on the green and there's tubing over here. So let's get into it.
look, I said these were all organized and now I messed them all up, but they, they should be pretty lined up and everything and ready to go. So yeah, 14 inches, they're all dovetailed. I'm gonna get them in there. Now this dog is acting crazy. two twists and then because I have the purple ribbon I'm gonna use the green tubing this is cut at 24 inches I'm just gonna pull it like that pull it like that and put it in actually I'm gonna overlap it a little bit more so make it a circle pinch here pull out to get the center push it back in flap it down because this is the last thing we're putting in here and we can cut this off my mom came over today and she was like what what is what is all of this and I was like yeah, that. just like that that's what I said I said I was like get out of there It's gonna be something, mother. We made a lot of progress cleaning up. I know that I've been talking about cleaning up this room for so long, saying that I'm gonna do it, and then actually doing it, and now still in the middle of doing it and still having so much to do. But, y'all, we are making good progress. And a big chair that was technically the dog's chair. He's pretty upset about it. Let's see, maybe I should have done. No, you know what? I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna because now the purple is gonna be on top of the purple. I mean, the pur this purple is gonna be on top of this purple ribbon, which I think that'll be fine. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let that bother me. I'm just trying to do the absolute most with this three. See, so yeah, mom came over, went to Walmart. I bought a pair of earbuds. Because um, I haven't used any since I got a new phone. You know, my I got a new iPhone that doesn't have the not a new iPhone. I got a I upgraded my iPhone, not the you know, a new new one, but a newer one that doesn't have the headphone jack anymore. So I was like, I need a pair of earbuds so I can, this is going horribly wrong over here, so I can listen to, um, podcasts, like, not necessarily while I'm doing this, but while I'm cleaning up and doing stuff and not have to worry about having my phone in my pocket all the time to listen, and I bought them, and they are just not good. I mean, I only spent $20 on them, so maybe that's my fault, but just like these are terrible and I can't call my mom's like I can't hear anything you're saying so it's like okay well I guess these go back but yeah we did that we came here came back home put everything away I meal prepped some bur um, turkey burgers with spinach artichoke and gouda on top it's just, it, that probably sounds fancier than it is. It's a spinach, artichoke, and gouda, great value dip. I'm all confused now. Okay, it's this one. Green goes on to purple. Spinach, artichoke, and gouda dip that you buy frozen for great value, and then I split it, it's, it's 12 ounces, so I split it over four burgers. So each burger is topped with three ounces of the dip. And I'm gonna eat that tonight. Well, I'm gonna eat one tonight, not I'm gonna, not, I'm gonna eat four. I'm gonna eat one tonight with a tortilla because I cannot find, if anybody has any recommendations for low carb hot dog hamburger buns, I 
looked down in the Walmart app. And they were like, oh yeah, we have these. And it was, I don't even, it was like some brand with a number in it. I don't know, some kind of nonsense. Um, oh, do I have black balls that I could put in here? Like over these, that would be cute. I haven't done that in a while. Um, you know, it's one of those things where the store's like, oh yeah, we have that. And then you show it, I showed it to an employee. And I was like, I'm looking for this. And he made this face like, I had showed him a, an actual unicorn. He was like, I ain't never seen that. And I was like, okay, well, thank you. But it wasn't by the bread. And it wasn't by, like, I looked in the, I was like, maybe it's like by the gluten-free bread that's in the freezer section, but not such luck. So I might have to venture beyond Walmart and go get some, um, Little carb hot dog buns. I'm gonna eat it with a tortilla because I love those carb smart tortillas. Although I don't know how my my poor digestive system is is handling this change in my diet because I eat four of those a day. No. Well, I'll have four today. I usually have one with breakfast with my eggs and my sausage. I had two with lunch is actual like roll up sandwiches, and then I'll have one with my burger for dinner um and that is they have 20 20 grams of fiber each so that's 80 grams of fiber just from tortillas but hey i'm still alive and i downloaded my fitness pal today because everybody, everything I looked at was like, make sure you, you track any food, make sure you track any food. And like, I do that, but not as closely as I could be doing it, I guess. Um, so I downloaded it, and it's the free version, and I was like, I should just pay for it. And I went to go, like, buy it, and it's $20 a month. And I was like, what? Are you freaking kidding me? But, like, the stuff that it unlocks, it's $20 a month, or it's $7 a month, but you have to buy the whole year. And I, told, I was talking to my mom about it. She's like, you don't need that. And I was like, well, I kind of do. So I think next time YouTube decides to pay me or someone orders a wreath, that is what I will use that money for. Because if cleaning this living room has taught me anything, it's that I don't need more stuff. Especially now that I'm going to start making my own signs. I'll be like, oh, I don't have a sign to go with this, like, this this thing I want to do, and I won't have to match ribbon to a sign that I can match the sign to the ribbons I already have. That's just smart. Does it seem like it's going faster? I think so. Yeah, we cleaned up for a little bit. I loaded my entire car as full of stuff going to Goodwill. I wish some of you guys, like, I wish somebody lived close because there is probably $400 worth of Happy Planner stuff in those Goodwill boxes. But I just, I don't want to be bothered with trying to list it and sell it. And I just, I, I was, I was planning on doing that. I was just going to put it as a big lot on Etsy and be like, hey, $40 to pay for the, um, mystery boxes I got it in, or the grab bags, or whatever they're called, whatever Michaels is calling them. Um, and then I was just like, I, I, I gotta get rid of this. It's giving me, there's too much anxiety involved with all these boxes of stuff. And now I have a box, I have three boxes of just randomness that I need to find space for in this room. And... There's a box that's full of makeup that I am having a very hard time getting rid of because it's a lot of expensive makeup that I don't, you know, I don't do makeup anymore. Um, so I think I'm going to donate that to the women's shelter. This would be like, hey, you know, it's like a, um, it's the battered women's shelter, so I know women in that position 
the last thing they need is makeup, but also sometimes I feel like that is exactly what you need to make yourself feel pretty, you know? There's nothing wrong with when I feel pretty, look pretty. So I think that's where that's gonna go. Just because it's, none of it's like super used. I mean, I used it on, you know, clients and stuff, but it's not like, hey, I've been using this lipstick every day for the past four years. We, do you guys want it? Like, I'm not, no, not tonight, sis. That's what I think. If anybody else has recommendations, let me know where that makeup can go. But by the time you see this, it'll probably be gone. I was like, why can't I have one of, why can't one of my friend's kids get really into makeup? And I'll be like, hey, here you go. That's a bunch of Anastasia Beverly Hills products. Actually, I had, I had, well, I had a, um, an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette in the box. And I was like, you know what? I'm keeping that. Don't need it. But, um. Jenny gave it to me forever ago and I was like it was right after I had stopped doing makeup and she was like but when you start doing makeup again and I was like yeah and um I never did use it I think I like swatched one color I can actually see it from where I'm at no I can't what happened to it I don't know We're cleaning up and my mom's like, can you explain to me what's going on here? And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, what is your process for cleaning up? And I was like, I'm, I'm straightening things and putting them where they're going. She's like, well, it looks to me like you're taking stuff from one table and moving it to another one. And I was like, yeah, I am. But while I'm doing that, some stuff is going into where it needs to go. And some stuff is going into throwaway boxes and some stuff is going into Goodwill boxes. Because that's how I got to do it. Like, I emptied most of the stuff out of the room, enough for me to be able to move around freely. And then everything else is just moving back and forth. I found an entire box of Halloween today. I didn't even remember I had. I opened it up and I was like, what is all this Day of the Dead stuff? Which is super weird because today, at Walmart, I bought Day of the Dead fabric. Because I was like, I'm going to make a Day of the Dead wreath this year. And... Then I opened it up and I found these two dolls from, I'm, I think they're from, they were from Dollar General. I'm not going to worry about getting these all in the right position right now. Green, it's purple. But I was like, okay. They're cute too. They're like, um, they're real tall and skinny. So I could put like one, I could put them on one. This wreath is huge. What happened? How did this happen? Side, make a little cute sign. I have so many ideas for signs. I made one, you know, I made one sign and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make all ladies signs. Cans right there, so when I'm done with something, I can just throw it over there. Look at me, I'm so organized and professional, like an adult type person. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Tracking my food. I've been 100% in range on my Dexcom. That means my blood sugar has been between my range is 70 to 180. It's been in range. It's been between that. It hasn't gone above or below that 70 and 180, which I know is like a, a huge 110 point gap, but it hasn't gone above 180 since I got it um, since Monday when I got the new one put on. So I'm like, I am proud of me doing work, cleaning up, donating things. Figuring out finally that I have a cricket. 
making songs. Okay, I'm gonna leave these for now, and this is all the outside done. I'm gonna leave these for now because I don't know what's gonna go in now. Actually, I do know what's gonna go in it. Everything else needs to be wired in, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna clip these. This, um, this green mesh is becoming a little, not problematic. I mean, it's not a Jenner or a Kardashian, but it's a little, um, it's just that, like, outside string keeps wanting to come off. This is so Beetlejuice. Freaking Michelle. Every time she sees black and white, she's like, Beetlejuice. And I'm like, no, it's just black and white. Calm down. I was like, and, and also, this is, that's a Christmas wreath you're looking at. Why do you think that's a Beetlejuice Christmas wreath? Beetlejuice. She's having surgery. She says it's because she can't breathe and she has sinus headaches that are incapacitating. I think she's probably actually just getting a boob job and not telling anybody. I said, I'm going to be able to tell. She said, you're not getting a boob job. I said, well, then you're getting a nose job. She said, I am, but it's inside my nose. I said, well, inside your nose probably, I don't know what the inside of your nose looks like, but I know what the outside looks like. That's what she should get fixed. And she said, eh. I am such a devoted friend, and then you're gonna go behind my back and get a boob job. We're talking about, does anybody remember that show, The Swan? This is like early 2000s reality TV. Some of you probably weren't born yet. Um, wait, let me get my time, and we'll get back to that. Today's drink of the day is, oh man, I thought I could reach that, but I gave up. Today's drink of the day is Milo's unsweetened iced tea. All right, so if you didn't, if you're not on Patreon, uh, this is where we did the sign, everything over there. It's sealed, it's ready to go. My problem was, how the heck am I gonna uh, get staples through this? Because it is thin. It's definitely, I mean, it's, it's sturdy, because it's a hard wood, but it's not, um, I can't staple through it, because it's only, I think it's like an eighth of an inch thick. So, I took some pipe cleaners. I don't know that these are going to be long enough, but I can always make them longer. Took pipe cleaners and E6000 and put them on here. Pressed some little felt tabs from Dollar Tree over the top and weighed it down. Let it dry while I was taking a nap. And then when I came back, I just put some glue around there. So, the pipe cleaners are held on with E6000. This felt tab, the felt tab is held on with glue. And um, there's glue around the pipe cleaners, hot glue, so that should work. And I have them on the top, the bottom, and this side because I'm going to try to get this as far over as I can. Which feels like it's going to be like right here. I'm going to do this outside one first. Wow, that went right down. Am I haunted? Every time something goes good for me, I think I'm haunted. Actually, it might be these pipe cleaners, y'all. Carl, um, you know, Carl's my, mom, my mom's husband who died almost a year ago. It's coming up in like 10 days. Ugh. He hit a box marked arts and crafts. And my mom was like, the, you know, after, after he died and she was, you know, cleaning his stuff out to give to his daughter and donate and everything. She was like, do you want this box of arts and crafts stuff from Carl? And I was like, what is it? And my mom was like, I don't know, it's a bunch of crap. So she gave it to me and it's been sitting in my car forever. And then when Michelle came in, I emptied, you know, I took everything out of the car and then it was sitting outside on my porch forever. And I opened it up today. Um, just as I was saying, I don't have any black pipe cleaners. Because I was supposed to get those today and I forgot, of course. 
Um, and there were, there was a pack of black pipe cleaners in there and they were from Carl and they were some brand I've never heard of. God only knows where he got them from. He probably had them flown in from France, but maybe they're a little sturdier and that's why things are going in here nicely. I am gonna try to smash this down a little bit. Not that I think I should be, should be, not that we, not that I think we should be smashing our signs down, but, um, yeah. I, I kind of have to just to get it in here. And there's no ribbons or anything underneath here. That's why I didn't add tails to the inside. I feel like these are maybe a little, a little, um, sturdier, you know, so they, when you push them through the, the mesh, they actually go, and sometimes they get caught on one string and don't go anywhere. There we go. So yeah, the, uh, anybody who was around watching reality TV in the early 2000s, which I'm pretty sure that was everybody because that was when reality TV, like, first started taking off, um, it's like big time real, like Survivor and stuff. There was a show on Fox, it was called The Swan. And the whole premise of the show is that they would get these women, you can look it up on YouTube, it is insane. They would get these women who would come on the show and receive plastic surgery. And I'm not talking about, oh, you know, my nose is a little big, you know, I'd like some cheekbones, um, I need liposuction, I've never been happy with my breasts. It was like women, they came on and the doctor was like, okay, new nose, new eyes, new face, new lips, new hair, new boobs, new body, new butt. And they would give these women plastic surgery, not to, not, now, whatever you, whatever your feelings are on plastic surgery, you do you, whatever. I would be so upset if I had plastic surgery and then I looked in the mirror. And I mean, these women knew what they were signing up for, so it's not like, I, this was the whole premise of the show. If I looked in the mirror and I did not recognize the person, like, there was nothing left of the original me after surgery. And every one they did was like that. Like, it, none of them were the subtle. It was like the complete, like, like a Heidi Montag situation. Or Kylie Jenner, where you have so much work done, you don't even look like the person you were before. Like how Kim Kardashian used to look like Jafar. Oh my god, you guys. Look how cute. And I'm just gonna kinda... I wish that I, I'm, I'm gonna go through and try to like pull some of this black and white mesh up. Just because I feel like it's kind of hidden. And like, see, it, it's, it's not hidden because it's actually hidden it's just like tucked in and the other mesh is overwhelming it and i'm really glad i didn't put like a solid green mesh on here because this little openness makes it a little airy okay so there's our sign um is it bow time i think it's bow time the bow is going to go here it's going to be pretty big i'm going to try to get it as far up here as i can without it falling over Yes, that is always a concern. I had a, um, I ordered 30 boxes and they come in like, 30 shipping boxes. They come in like this giant thing where they're all like strapped together. And I had it sitting behind me for like the past month and a half. And it was so nice because I could just turn around and put stuff on it. But now it's where it needs to go in my new shipping center. Y'all, that's pretty cool. Um, so every time I turn around, I'm like, where's my, and I was like, oh no, I'll put it away, didn't I? All right, so let's look at our ribbons and get them in some kind of order. There's a lot of them. There is this green and black damask, which will go down first. Then there is, wait, no, I have to remember how to do this because I'm doing a funky bow. So I want the colors next to each other. So it'll be this green, then this one. That'll be a green back. And then... This purple, maybe? It'll be 
two in the back. Because this is what I'm saying. When I start, if I start off with my loop here, it's going to be loop and then the two tails over here. So when I do the next color, I don't want to put the purple because then the purple would have loop and two tails over here. And then when I come back with this green, it would be loop on top of the other green loop. So that's kind of how you need to do that. Um, I think I'm going to mix this here. Right? Yes. And then I can do this. That's a lot of ribbon. Green, green, purple, black and white, black and white, green, green, black and white. Green, green, purple, black and white, black and white, green, green, black and white, purple. I don't know about green, green. Purple, diamond, black and white, green, green, di what is it? Green, green, purple, diamond. So I do want these two because I don't want these two diamonds on top of each other. Ugh, that was that was an ordeal. Okay, go do something business. You just went OUT, so no, you don't have to do that. Betty's working. If you want to keep having your fancy probiotic dog treats that keep you from having diarrhea, you need to let Daddy work. He's like, don't tell people about that on the internet. Okay, let, let's hope I did this correctly. Um, I'm gonna go... Yeah, eight inch tails. is wet but it from my my sweet tea this is nice I had this in gray and black too and I was gonna include that in there and I was like no there's no other gray anywhere in the wreath so let's not That's the problem with having a clean floor with no crap all in a way to stop the thing from rolling all over the place. Now it's it rolled halfway out the door.
enough storage left on my memory card to finish this, at least about. Because y'all, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my computer. I don't know if it's the card. I don't know if it's the reader. It takes so long to transfer stuff from the card to my computer. This one was six, this one was six, and this one is five and a half. So it's like I have to, I know I should just buy another car, and I should have got one during Prime Day because they were less expensive. like another another two and a half inch but I don't think it's gonna matter much in the grand scheme of things unless I just keep this one at let's also put this one at six for some reason yeah that, that just I don't want to go this one's at six this one's at six and then there's one that goes from six and then six to five and a half all right, so now we're gonna start the five and a half. Oh, this one feels weird. And it looks like somebody chewed the end of it off. are getting a little shorter just because my loops aren't as long. down and take a nap or something? What are you doing? You're driving me crazy with your tip-tapping all over the floor. Alright, and these last two will be at five. see their um remember we did that pipe cleaner test these feel a little stronger I don't really need to but I'm gonna do it just to make sure they don't break I don't need like I don't need the length 
yeah, I think after this, after I get the bow on and fluffed and everything, I'm going to take a break, empty this memory card, let my chain hammer charge, and then come back and figure out how we're going to get the rest of the stuff in this wreath. Okay. So... like making a bow and then getting it to fluff up right this is so important I know I don't do this all the time I used to not do it at all which is when I was you know in the in the struggle years you know, you all seen that show the wonder years I was in the struggle years where I just could not get the bows looking right Green. this one is gonna be really nice saying here when you put the the colors next to each other like the damask and then the the lime with this with the beetlejuice border here's the lime here's the canvas they're on different sides i mean the damask not the canvas okay everybody say a little prayer let's say a little prayer for you let me hydrate mm. on either side of the, the center pole, whatever you want to call this, the holder, tends to ever living crap out of it. In here, in here, pull it down. Should, when you tighten it down like that, everything should kind of perk up. Alright, and now I want... Oh. What just happened? I just, like, put this down and I was like, I don't know. But it's fine. I want this to go, I don't want it like across from here, so I want it to go as far up as I can without having it lean like that, which you guys can't even see. It was a really good bow. Okay. That was pretty easy. Probably be in the completely wrong spot, but just give it a tug to sink it down a little bit, but not too, too much. Okay. Okay. All right. Everybody calm down.
like how loose that feels, but that's not going anywhere. If you buy this wreath, don't pull on the tails. Breath is enormous. What is wrong with these scissors? I gotta look back and see when I ordered these because they're at a point now where I'm like, they were fantastic, but now they're starting to bother me a little bit. Let it be like five o'clock. I know it's not, but please let it be like five o'clock because I'm hungry. It's four ten. I feel okay about that. I can eat. usually don't do this. I saved this for Patreon, but I want to see how she looks. God, my neighbor is outside, like, he fixes cars. I don't know what, what he uses. It sounds like a dentist drill. But let me tell you, it just, like, rips through my soul every time I hear it. He was making noise over there one day, and it was so bad. I don't know what it was, but it was, like, so piercing. I had to leave my house and go to my sister's, and on the way there, I threw up because it was hurting my head so much. My sister was like, what are you doing here? I was like, I had to get out of my house. That was a weird noise. And she's like, what was it? I said, I don't know. I said, but can you go hose off the side of my car? Yeah, that? It's like that. stop this for now come back and we will finish this up i need to put all this ribbon away or else it's all gonna fall behind the table and you all know how i feel about that yeah i need to actually be able to look at this bow while i'm fluffing it but yeah there we are i will be back you know what they don't teach you in reef school guys i have a, I have a master's in reefology what they don't teach you in reef school is how incredibly hard it is to staple into a shoe. That being said, I got the shoes stapled. Let me pull my chair over before I pass out. I don't know what shoes are made out of. I talked about this on Patreon when we were making these shoes. Why are these shoes so expensive? Not expensive. Why are these shoes so heavy? Like seriously, what's going on ladies? Men's shoes are not this heavy. Every time I pick, because I, I ideally wanted a pair of, um, like, heels, like real heels, because I figured, you know, what's wrong with heels? Um, anyway, every time I picked them up, they were so heavy. So these are kids' shoes, and I was like, these are still kind of heavy, but we're going to make them work. All right, so... If you find yourself in a position where you need to attach shoes to a wreath, um, the staples in here went in okay. This, they were just like splayed out. Um, so I had to bring out my old stapler, which I'll know how terrible I am with using that. I got a couple of staples into here, hooked the pipe cleaner around, put some glue on it, put E6000 on it, put a felt tab on top of it, and then stapled through that again. 
So, yes. That should be good. All right, so one is gonna go like here. And one is gonna go like here. Yeah, that's what I like. Um, I think I'm gonna do this one first. See, I want them to kind of sit like this, but I don't know if they're going to sit like that. We'll see. I feel like I want to do this one first just so I can... Because uh, this one can go further up here and just have the bottom sticking out. I'm fine with that. Right, so I guess I'm just going to um, stick this through. And hope for the best. And the dog is going crazy barking about something, so if he starts barking... I'll hit him, and then he'll stop, and I, I apologize. No, like I would ever hit my dog, can you imagine? He'd be like, what the hell? He'd be like, I know you just not, not did not just hit me. All right, I just saw my needle somewhere. together or I guess I should actually try to hook it to the frame instead of like just having the mesh holding it down right all right I'm just going around the frame a couple of times because I want to get this placed right before I you know I want to make sure it's where I want it to be before I like commit to yanking the whole thing down And I did if you're on Patreon and you're like, wait, weren't the inside of those shoes silver? They were. I painted them because I don't think Dorothy wore Nine West. She might have. And I don't think the Wizard of Oz is a Halloween thing. I know they always play The Wizard of Oz around Easter here. Is it everywhere? I'm, I'm assuming it is, because it's usually on, like, you know, one of the, like, Turner Classic movies or TNT or something. But even my uncle, my mom's oldest brother, loves The Wizard of Oz. And I, um, I am a return to Oz kind of guy. Because, you know, I like to be emotionally scarred. Does anybody remember that movie? How horrifying it was. Okay, so we're just gonna pretend like this doesn't exist right here. What is going on? I don't know why that's pulling like that, but let's uh, stick some glue on and clamp it down. Yeah, I was watching um, this review of Return to Oz. Because, like, seriously, if you haven't seen that since you were a kid, you need to rewatch it and be like, oh my god. What messed up nonsense is this? But, um, I was watching in the video and the guy was talking about how there is a, I don't know, it's like a, what is that thing called? Like, the, you know, the thing, I don't know what it's called, where, um... It's like a, a, a ratings guide, but it was based on what scared kids, like what kids were scared the most of. Um, I don't know if it was like, if it, if it wasn't for originally for like TVs, I think it was like a, a psychological study, not TVs, like for movies and media and stuff. I think it was like a psychological study where they were, you know, they got all these kids together and were like, hey, what scares you the most? And I think they came up with a list of, like, it was something like 80 things that were the most common ab among all these, like, grade school kids that they had surveyed. 
and Return to Oz has 63 of those things in the movie in some form or another, like, um, like getting a shot, going to the doctor, uh, getting lost, strangers, um, taking a test, and those are all things Dorothy goes through. Like, I, I think she, she, they give her a shot to, like, put her to sleep at some point. Um, and she takes a test, like, at the end when she's trying to find, when she's with the Gnome King and she's trying to find... Wait, can you go here, maybe? She's trying to find her friends, like, that have been turned into the objects, and, um... Yeah, it was just, the, the video is crazy. But I was like, do I want to watch that? And I, even as an adult now, like, my sister gave it to me on DVD a couple of years ago, and I was like, nope. I was like, I'm good. As soon as Homegirl starts taking her head off, I'm like, nope. And the wheelers? Ugh. And you know Disney owns the rights to all those books? Because there's like... Oh, guys, this is cute. This needs more glitter back here. Um, Disney owns the rights to all 17 of the Oz books. I think I'm going to have to use some E6000 to glue this part down. Because, well, maybe I should just try adding some more actual hot glue. Oh! I almost fell over there. Am I recording? Yes, thank God. And I think this wreath could have been full of references. Like, I was going to include poppies. Because she wakes up in that field of poppies when she's hallucinating. Um... But I already feel like this is maybe stretching it a little in terms of. Why does that Halloween wreath have red shoes in it? Okay, let's see what that does. If that doesn't hold, I will use some E6000. Alright, as if this did not have enough in it, I'm going to add some black roses. Not a part of the movie, not a part of anything. I just want some black roses. Do I want the leaves? Do I like the leaves? Oh, the leaves can stay. These are from Walmart. These are some of the picks that I got whenever it was. It was like the middle of summer last year. They put, well the year before, I can't even remember. They put all the fall stuff out and then they immediately marked it down. So these went from like 97 cents to 25 cents. So, you know, I have like 200 of them. I got all those pumpkin picks. I really kind of wanted to put a pumpkin in here because there's, um, what's his name? Jack? I think his name's Jack. I would, yeah. Um, Jack and the Return to Oz movie and in the books. But, I don't know. I mean, it'd be like a velvet pumpkin, and I just think adding orange to this would confuse people even more. I'm going to say it right now. This might be my masterpiece wreath right here. I don't know. That moss and grapevine wreath is still pretty high up on the list. Before I put these in, uh, let me... Uh, Some of these, these gave me so much trouble. Um, uh, there's a video on how to make an ornament like this on Patreon if you want to find out how this is done. But uh, gluing plastic to fabric, if you haven't been to the website, this to that, it gives you like, like you can put in like, oh, I need, to, I need to glue metal to glass and it'll tell you what kind of glue to use. They told me to use a spray adhesive for this and I ended up having to use super glue. So every couple of little spikes on here, there's a dot of super glue holding it down. But one of them I started doing with hot glue, and it looks terrible. 
So I want one of these. I'm gonna have to stand up again, aren't I? I want one up here, kinda. Wait, do I want it like on the side? Oh, I want it like that, okay, that's good. And I know I just did a wreath where we actually wired these in, but trying to get this done. I've been working on this wreath on and off, different parts of it for uh, way too long now. Right, so one's gonna go there, and then one should probably go somewhere. Like, where's the one with, is this the one with hot glue? Yeah, see, it's just, it looks messy. So that'll go down. Or, what do I want to do? I want some more. messy on all sides. This side looks okay. Oh, except those are all wobbly. What's going on here? I'm like, that looks messy because of the hot glue. Let me add some more. Whenever you're gluing something over your tails, make sure your tails are where you want. I, I don't know about this one, y'all. This way. Make sure, you, no, this way. Okay, that's good. Make sure your tails are where you want them before you glue. Oh no, we almost had a glue over here. It's because I keep gluing in these ornaments that require a significant, like, mountain of glue. Significant amount of glue, what am I talking about? Get off of that. Alright, I'm gonna have to pick at that later. And then uh, the next one will go, oh my god, y'all. Who thought putting a pair, of, a full pair of shoes and a wreath would make it so heavy? This one, in theory, should go over here. That one's facing out. This one's facing that way. scraping the bottom of the barrel with this. Oh, but look, it pulled up some of that stuff that was stuck on the bottom. That's cool. I've been trying to get that crap out the bottom of there for a while. Okay. Those are in. Well, this one's not in it. Let me get let me get this another second over here. I'm not really worried about that one because if it's not in, like if it's not pressed down all the way, it's not like it's gonna fall backwards. Like this one, if it wasn't in all the way, it would fall forward when the wreath is hanging. Okay, that was looking good. Now let's just kind of place these around. I did find the black balls, but um, I don't know that that's necessary. I mean, there's a lot going on on here. Can we agree? I said a lot, not too much. That's just a lot. My mom was like, so how much is that wreath going to be? And I was like, oh. <laughs> I said, no idea. But um, the answer is expensive. That is what the answer is. That is the answer I have right now because I have not tallied it up. So when you think about it, I made everything on here. 
this is gonna drive me crazy. There's like a hunk of hot glue sticking out right there and I can't get it off. So I made everything on here. So it would have to be the cost of these, plus the cost of the shoes, plus the time I put into making everything. Because, like, these balls, they're very cheap to make. Um, they take forever. And I could kind of, uh, I'm sure there's a way I could, like, save time, but I would rather have them look nice than have them be quick. You know what I mean? Especially because I'm making some of these now to sell on Etsy. Oh wait, are some of these bigger than other ones? I don't know about that. But yeah, by the time you see this, there might be... If, no, I don't like that. No, 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 no. There might be some, um... Ornaments like this on Etsy. You know, a set of three. bother me right now, but it's just because the wreath is laying flat. Should I have done the poppies? I mean, they're right... Well, no, I don't know where they're... I was like, they're right there. No, they're not. I just feel like the red is there. That should be the focal point of the red, and it shouldn't be anywhere else. Some of the sole, like this, I want to I wanna get one in here to cover up a part of the sole that's showing because I didn't paint the soles because I thought they were going to go, eh, I thought they were going to go in the wreath, like, sole down. And then I was like, no, they kind of need to go on the side, huh? I'm going to glue a rose in right there just to cover up. Any soul that, I mean, you can see a little bit of the soul right here, but like they're they're encrusted with glitter. They came like that. I didn't I didn't encrust that part in glitter. Um, so you can't really like you can't see it over here. I mean, I could put one here, I guess. But I would want that like way down because I don't want it. Yeah, though I'm usually like, oh, I don't mind if it's covering up the sun. Not when I spent this much time designing this thing and painting it and finishing it and the three and a half hours it took me to get the, the vinyl down. And I just watched like 10 back-to-back -back videos and I was doing the vinyl right. That's the worst part, is that I was doing it the right way and it still took me forever. Okay. some more glitter right there, which nobody be shocked that this is still on my desk. There we go. What did I say over here too? This is about I don't know, Patreon people, what do we think? Like, 15 different glitters I added in here? Okay. And then just wipe your finger on there, because that's what you do. And I think I'm going to put just a little bit more right there. No, no, no. Not 
on the mesh. Okay, you can go on the mesh, I don't care. I put these big pieces of mylar in here and I'm like, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. But it does look, because I have the biggest pieces so it catches the, the, the light really nicely. See. And then we reuse this again for our other Halloween wreath we're gonna do. Well, we're gonna do more than two. But... Okay. Look at the shine on that sign. I feel like I should have done it with the, the sealer I use and then gone back over it with a mat just because I'm getting a lot of reflection off of that. So yeah, this is done. I am very happy. Um, would I change anything? I don't know. I think if I changed anything, it would be this green. But I like that it's so bold. So, yes, that is it for this wreath. I am going to uh, fluff it up a little bit. I think it's too late to take pictures. But I can at least post the pictures. Post the one picture on Patreon. Because they have been following the progression of this wreath very closely and yeah all right guys thanks for watching if you want to buy this wreath um don't get sticker shock when you see it because i have an idea in my head that i don't want to get into uh but yeah it's listed in etsy which is linked down below along with patreon if you want to see how to make the sign and the balls and the shoes and a bunch of other stuff. There's a lot of stuff on there. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, and if you want, you can tip me on Venmo. You stop whining! You can tip me on Venmo, and I can buy me a... What can I get for $5? If you send me $5, I can get... A, 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 what can I get? A package of low-carb tortillas. Because I love those. Or I can get two bags of Quest chips because they're two fifty each and it's a bag this big. Oh my god. Being thin and being a skinny legend is such hard work. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I love you. Click, comment, like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I'll see you later. Bye.